Good evening fellow programmers, this is Pavel and uh, this is part 3 of our inventory management program exercise. So we created the out of stock items, we have it working in the last video. In this video we will do the bills for today's customers uh, or orders. So I'll just double click that to create the event and um, I'm going to close this because I really don't need the uh, in this window anymore so you can see it better all right so uh, in order for us to create the or display all the orders uh, we have to simply query all the orders so we will do our query orders equals from uh, order in the microland data set of orders and we will simply select the order that customer ID. This will give us all the customers who ordered anything. Now I'm going to use this thing because the customer could have ordered multiple items and I just want to know whether this customer ordered anything at all. So now we have the customers that ordered anything. So now we can loop through it and um, basically get the details for each customer and display the uh, you know the final bill or the report so uh, we will do for each element in our query order so we are looping through all the customers that are returned by this select statement here and um, let's get the customer detail uh, so I'm gonna create within our for each loop I'm gonna create another query so I'm gonna create query customers and it will equal to the from customer in my client data set dot customers uh, where our customer dot customer ID equals the element because element is the ID of the customer that was returned from this query. So if they match, that's the customer that we want to display. Finally, all right, so select the customer dot customer ID, the customer name, the name, the address, so customer dot, and it's the street, that's what I call it, and city, we can do the city, customer dot. city so this is the information about a customer that we want to display so um, now we can uh, get the orders all right so um, let's get the amount uh, you remember customer may have ordered multiple items so we have to kind of combine them together so we will do our dim query amount equals from our order in the microland data set dot orders and we will join it with the inventory uh, so join the item in the micro microland data set dot inventory And we will join it obviously on the ID of the item. So order that item ID equals the item that item ID. And now we need to specify uh, the ID of the customer that we want. We, so because we don't want all the orders, we just want the orders for for this particular customer so we will do where orders the order that uh, order that um, customer ID equals the element in fact you know what let's just do ID instead of element so it's not so confusing because that's what we are matching this is just a customer ID that we are getting so our customer ID now equals the ID from our for each loop which is basically 
the idea of a customer who, who ordered something. So now we can get the um, total amount of the orders for this customer. So let the amount as double equal, and we can do the uh, order dot quantity multiplied by the item dot price. So that's the that's the total amount for each item that the customer actually purchased. So if there are two items, there will be basically two amounts. And uh, we can do our select and we do order dot quantity. We can get the item dot item ID so we know what, what, what we are actually displaying. And we can do the description dot description and the amount which is the total. Uh, amount of the, the for the customers purchase so that's the next query and uh, now we can uh, we can simply output it I guess so we can do a for each customer in query customers so first we are doing uh, doing this query right here displaying that so we will do our list output that items that add and we are adding the customer name that could be the first so uh, I will just copy paste it so we will do the name we will do the street we will do the city and we will do an empty one uh, so that's it's not so crowded again so customer name customer street and customer city so this will Im uh, display the information about a customer it's himself and now we can uh, go and uh, display the rest of it uh, like the orders so we will do our dim total uh, as double equals zero now we already have uh, the amounts for each order so this one will hold the total sum of all the orders uh, the customer made so we do another for each loop i'll just call it order in and this time we are querying the uh or looping through the query amount so our query amount and um, now we will output the items that add and we can add the quantity so order that uh, quantity and some space and uh, the description so we know what item it is uh, so order that description and another space and the amount all right so um, and since it's an amount in of, you know currency we will format it to currency so we will format currency and we are formatting the order dot amount and formatting it to two decimal places and let me finish the close the parentheses i think i missed something uh, I'll come back to it. That's probably some syntax error, obviously. So uh, after we add that, we will increase our total by the order amount. The order dot amount. Order dot amount. All right. So um, uh, let me just look at this quickly. And again, the IntelliSense is just nuts today. Uh, let me see. So I have the bracket here. Oh, this is not a bracket there. There you go. Ah, I knew it was just a syntax. <laughs> All right, so uh, we have our amount here. And... Uh, for each item so it will basically say item one 
this is the amount that was paid for it item 2 this is the amount so now we can add the like a final uh, total of all orders for the customer so after the QE or after the for each loop we will do the output that items that add and we will output the format currency of total and to do decimal places because total remember has been increased for each of the order and we will do a list output dot items dot add an empty line all right well let's give it a try let's see what we get All right, so the form showed. Here's my bills, and here's the uh, customer name, his address, and all the orders with the price. Or the uh, he ordered one Microsoft Office upgrade, 195. Two of these uh, total for of four four fifty eight. One of the uh, MS upgrade for 195. It actually should be should say probably two of them. The same with Michael Smith, address, uh, orders, and a final order. We could, we could actually say something like, uh, to make it make a sense of it, so we will do total and, and format. So that way we know that the final number is basically the total of the orders for the customer. So here are the customers, here's the orders. And um, yeah, I'm um, fine. Go out of stock. Oh, the out of stock is displayed out down here. So basically, if I keep clicking, it just keeps adding. That's an easy fix. All we have to do, we have to clear the list box before we click the button or after we click each of the buttons. So we will do list box output dot clear list box output sorry dot items dot clear. And the same for our out of uh, stock right here. So let's test that again. I have out of stock, I have bills, yeah, so out of stock, bills, so that seems to be working too. Now, as for the, uh, if I run it again, you, you will see that the um, like I said before, the uh, one of the orders, which one was this? Uh, okay, this order, he has an order of Microsoft Office upgrade and then he has another Microsoft Office upgrade. Those are two separate orders. We basically display each orders, not so much items. Like in this uh, order, he ordered two of these, the quantity was two, but it's a separate order. Uh, and this is a separate order from this. So if I look in the database, and I go, yeah, that's the same to this uh, to this customer. You can see that he ordered this item of quantity one, then he ordered this item quantity two, but then later he ordered an, the same item SW109 of another quantity one. So he made actually two duplicate orders or two orders in one day for the same item. You know, like maybe he did one in the morning and then it's like, oh, I need another one. So he ordered another one. So our app uh, takes it as two separate orders. That's why they are uh, shown separately, even though they look as duplicates, they're not. This is simply, if there was an order number, order ID, uh, then each of these would have a different order ID. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, uh, the output in the book seems to match this output. So this is the out of stock. This is the bills display. So um, yeah, this is the this is the exercise. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video.